everybody, welcome back to another Eye Care for Your Brain. I'm here with number four, my top 10 secrets to brain health. This one is eating an anti-inflammatory diet. Whole foods diet is the opposite of a processed food diet. Inflammation is a hallmark of all major brain diseases. Those of us with a genetic risk for Alzheimer's disease, meaning you have a family history, are particularly susceptible to having inflammatory related increased risk. We have nearly a twice as likely risk over 17 years of developing Alzheimer's disease if we have chronic low levels of inflammation, which you can get checked through two lab tests, your CRP, your uh, C-reactive protein, or your ESR, also called your SED rate. These are meant to be very, very low. And if they're anything above the cutoff that your medical provider has for you, you have chronic inflammation. Now, what you'd wanna do is follow it over time to make sure they're not just catching you on a cycle, uh, recovering from some type of infection, but most people have this related to autoimmune conditions, poor diet, or sedentary lifestyle. So very important to drill down with your medical provider on what exactly is causing your inflammation to be higher than it should. People with the highest markers of inflammation at midlife have the biggest decline in thinking and memory over the next 20 years. So this is another example of what you do today comes home to roost in the future. A brain healthy diet is a whole foods diet, closest as possible to the way nature intended, as fresh as possible. When food is not fresh, it has to be preserved. And typically, especially in an American Western diet, this is through things like additives, preservatives, and seed oils in particular, which we now know are extremely high in omega-6s and very pro-inflammatory. A whole foods diet is naturally high in antioxidants, improves cerebrovascular blood flow and inhibits the accumulation of amyloid beta in the brain, which is one of the two reasons that Alzheimer's disease builds up over time and starts to cause symptoms. The best diet that I have ever heard of that will improve brain health, now this is from peer-reviewed journals and uh, has been written about many, many different times, is called the MIND Diet, the Mediterranean Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay. It was developed by Chicago Rush University Medical Center's epidemiologist, Dr. Martha Claire Morris, and she has put out some very, very powerful papers showing that when people are strict adherents to this type of diet, they can reduce their risk of Alzheimer's disease by 53%. And even if they're just moderately adherent, they can reduce their risk of Alzheimer's by 35%. That's incredible. She's also put out some work showing that cognitive decline after stroke is reduced when people follow the MIND diet. And overall, people age with better thinking skills and better memory skills when they follow this diet. So what I like about it is it is very doable. It's whole foods based. It's not based in any type of fad and it allows for some flexibility. So the MIND diet focuses on consuming 10 healthy food types while avoiding five specific unhealthy food categories. So when we think about the top 10, you can start to think about your grocery list. And I want you to think, are these things that you get on a regular basis? According to the MIND diet, these should really be the heart of what you are putting into your body every day. So the first one is beans. She is a big believer that beans are a superfood, the perfect balance of protein, fiber, fat, all sorts of incredible antioxidants, and they're incredibly cheap and available. Next one is berries. I think berries have gotten their fair share of uh, media coverage for brain health, but it's true. What we really like about berries is all of the vitamins and nutrients that are in there and that they're very low in sugar. You also have to eat them fresh or they're just not good, so there's probably an added bonus there. Number three is fish. Number four is green leafy vegetables. Number five is nuts. Number six is poultry. Seven is olive oil. Eight are all vegetables. Nine are whole grains and 10 is wine. So what they want you to do is try to make these the essence of your diet. And then you're trying to avoid these other five. So it's, it's not to say that you can never have these things, but what you want to reduce is their frequency. So no more than one a week of butter, 
cheese, fried food, fast food, red meats, and sweets and pastries. So it's actually pretty darn flexible. And what you're gonna find in the comment box at the underneath of my lecture here is we have actually created a free PDF for you where you are going to be able to be reminded of this very specific diet. And we're also going to offer you a food journal for better brain health so you can monitor exactly what it is you're putting in your body with the requirements of the MIND diet and see if you can increase your adherence a little bit. We're gonna ask you to do a brain health challenge. So in the PDF that we've created for you. It's got exactly how many servings per week. It's got uh, how you want to be a little bit um, limiting of those things like the butter, the cheese, the fried food. So as you are starting to think about what can I do to secure the brain health, uh, my brain health as I get older, remember the biggest thing I want you to get out of this series is it is the cumulative impact. True brain health is whole person health, and we have to do a little bit of a lot of different things to get the results that we want. I'll be back with you next time with number five. Mm -hmm.